all of the time we need to take the Torah down to, to, to the ground, to reality. Okay, yes, it's written in the books of Kabbalah. Yes, it's written in Likutei Moran. Yes, it's written. Yeah, Rabbi Nathan. When I hear lectures of rabbis that are talking about, yes, Rabbi Nathan is bringing in Likutei Alachot, and yes, Rabbi Nachman in, in this, and yeah, you can see it also in that. What do, you, what do you want to say? That's my question. Okay, great. He is. Bottom line, what's the conclusion? How can I take your awesome Torah, the wonderful verses, into my life and, and, and to refix my life? How can I recover from my, my, my mental issues, from my sadnesses, from my depression, from my, my poverty? How, how I'm going to have money? Okay, Kilo. How I'm going to pay my bills? That, that's the question. The person, he doesn't want to hear sophisticated Torah. Yes, Rabbi Nathan is bringing that concept in that aspect in Likutei Alachot. Is it, is it, is it going to help me to pay the bill? Is it going to help me to be happier tomorrow morning when I'm going to wake up? Is it going to help me to know how to respect my family, my wife, my children, how to educate them? Is it going to help me to find my path in life? The fact that Rabbi Nathan is bringing it in Likutei Alachot. And this is something that we all need to take very seriously on, on, first of all, to find the right mentor, the right guide, the right teacher to guide us and to follow him. First of all, you don't need to, people are so, a few days ago, a certain person asked me a question. He goes to, she goes to, to classes and she feels like the, the rabbi that is teaching over there is is not qualified to teach. He's not holy enough. He's not his, his, his way of teaching, even out the Torah, is not is not is not clean. She feels like he's bringing himself, and and he's not so clean, not so nice, and into the class. And she wants to learn, but she feels like the source that she's learning from is is not the right source, not holy enough, not not in in pure purity. So what she's supposed to do? So I told her, this is something that, first of all, if you feel that really takes you to a bad place, if you really feel that it affects your life in a negative way, you must hold yourself and not to take yourself to those classes, no matter even if you're not going to learn at all. Because to learn something that's going to damage you is worse than not, not to learn. It's better not to learn than to learn something that's going to damage you, first of all. And second, that you need to pray. To connect yourself to holy teachers, to holy rabbis. And you can find them. It's not like they're not exist at all. Just you need to find them. So how are you going to find them? First of all, you need to believe in yourself. You need to count on your senses. You need to count on your senses. If you found someone that you feel that that person is, is inspiring you, is giving you power, you need to count on those feelings. Why? Because the Creator, He gave you your heart, He gave you your mind, He gave you your emotions, your abilities to sense, to feel things. If you're not going to count on those tools that He gave you, so on who are you going to count? On someone else, someone foreign, someone that's going to tell you who's supposed to be your teacher, who's supposed... Why? Because of, of what? Because a lot of people said that He is the Rabbi, because a lot of people said that He is famous, because a lot of people are giving Him money, because, because of what? If God created you, and you have certain feelings, certain way of thinking, certain way of, of, of grasping and, and understanding things. If you're not going to use that, you're denying your creation. You're 